Dark Source Killer, Glenn Hirsch, kills himself ahead of court date. Wow. The suspected Dark Source Killer, accused of gunning down a Chinese food delivery man in Queens, committed suicide Friday, which is today, ahead of a court hearing that could have landed him back behind bars. Glenn Hirsch finally unmasked in a mock shot obtained by the Post had been out on bail when he shot himself at home ahead of a morning hearing in Queen's Supreme Court law enforcement, sources said. Hmm. The 51-year-old suspect was found dead on the couch wearing rubber gloves with the gun in his hand and the radio blaring to the point where it could be heard by cops outside the door. It appeared he had meticulously prepared to kill himself, sources said. He put plastic over the couch before pulling the trigger and a typewritten suicide note, several pages long, <laughs> several pages, at his head, sources said. So what does the note say? He was accused of murdering a Chinese delivery worker, and his body being brought out of his apartment by more workers. Hirsch had emailed a lengthy note to his lawyers, prosecutors, and others involved in the case, denying murdering Zhuang Yang. Well, if, we, <laughs> if that was true, then, you know, you go to trial. Denying murdering Zhuang Yang on April 30th and made the suspect feud with the restaurant over duck sauce. This is my dying declaration, as wrote, according to a source. His lawyer, Michael Horn, told the post he left a long note, but essentially he became overwhelmed by the press coverage and the media attention and the rush to vilification, and he didn't take care of his mental health, which is obviously something he needed to do and he became depressed and suicidal. In the missive, the suspect accused prosecutors of rushing to judgment in Yang's murder and said video evidence implicating him in it was inconclusive. <coughs> Notice the word he used, inconclusive. Hirsch also tried to exonerate his wife, Dorothy Hirsch, over her arrest in late June, when an early morning raid turned up eight handguns and ammunition at her home. Wow, all these handguns this guy has in New York City. Glenn insisted in the letter that the weapons belonged to him and she had no knowledge of them. Yeah, you got all these guns in an apartment in New York and your wife never even seen them? Law enforcement sources said the pair had not lived together for years and she was not in his home when he died. Glenn wrote in the note that he knew he was going to be charged with weapons wraps during the Friday hearing and would likely be sent back to jail because the guns were linked to him through DNA. Okay, so <laughs> if they're linked to you through DNA, what does that say? He said he wasn't willing to sit in a cell for years and didn't want to fight the gun charges. Well, you know what? There are a lot of black people who've been in jail like for 20 years and then DNA proved them innocent. Here is this guy complaining that the guns were linked to him through DNA, right? So what about all those people who were in prison did like 20 years when there was no DNA? This guy is really off his rocker, you know? 
No doubt he killed that Chinese man over dark sauce. Very mentally ill. The note described as sources as oddly coherent and vast in scope included long tangents about other cases heard in Queens County too. In the case of Yan's net that Glenn had an ongoing beef with the Great Wall restaurant in Forest Hills where the victim, a father of three, worked as a delivery man. Glenn claimed that Ikri shorted him on dark sauce in an order placed last year. Gee, dark sauce, they give you like, like two dark sauce with each order and like two uh, packets of soy sauce. That's what they usually give you, you know. Now, you can add for more. Maybe they'll give it to you if you're a freaking customer. Hours before Yan was gone down, police said surveillance footage captured Grand, Grand, circling Great Wall in his car, then tailing the de delivery man to his next food drop. Yan was shot in the chest and left bleeding on the pavement. Why did he kill himself? Yang said of Glenn. I wanted him to go to jail forever. The owner, who considered Yang like kin, added, I lost my brother, a member of my family. I wanted Glenn to go to court and for him to say why he killed my brother. I wanted him to talk, tell everybody why he wanted to kill me and my family too. Yang, Yang said he hasn't been able to sleep since Yang's death because all he sees is his brother's face. When I dive somewhere, I look around. I don't go straight home. I look to see if anybody is following me, he said. Jennifer Wu, the lawyer for Yang's King, told the Post his family is in shock over Glenn's suicide and that his widow doesn't even know what to say at this point. The shock relates to what a waste to kill someone and then kill yourself. Two lives lost. I think there's the initial shock of how do I seek justice now? But that isn't the primary concern, who said. The primary concern is another life is lost. It's the shock of death. This guy definitely had uh, uh, mental issues that you would shoot somebody over dark sauce. Mm. And video, video captured him circling, circling the Great Wall restaurant in his car. Yeah, there are a lot of people with uh, mental illness. The difference is that some of them are poor and they hang out in Manhattan like Times Square and they beat up an Asian people and some of them are well off and they have money they don't hang out in Manhattan they don't hang out in Times Square but they live in an apartment and they have enough money to have like eight guns in their possession and they could go around and shoot people that's the difference you see Huh. That's what's going on here, unfortunately.